Oh, thank goodness. Oh, fresh water. Ah, oh, oh, salt water. Oh no. Oh, we're doomed, Agent X. Wait, but Agent X. Oh. Why don't we just desalinate the water? <gasps> desalinate? Well, that's a great idea, Agent X. Why didn't I think of that? What is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. Uh, tracker. You got a little uh, Agent so Tracker's bag. The only uh, water we've had for the past three days is porty potty water, which is basically the same as uh, fizzy wizzy sparkling yellow water. So we were pretty stoked when we came upon this clear, fresh looking water, but it's got salt in it because, well, obviously it's the ocean. But on today's episode, we are going to show you how to turn ocean water, salt water, into fresh drinking water, hopefully, because we've never done this before. So, water is essential for survival. It can't last more than generally three days without water. Also can't last too long without food. Asian Axe is going to work on the food by no, fishing. That the bird world model is three days without water. Uh -huh. Yeah, three three weeks without food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got some time. We got three weeks. But Agent Axe is going to work on the fishing, get some food, and I'm going to attempt to desalinate the seawater and make it into fresh drinking water that'll save our lives in a survival situation. These, um, they're edible. Doesn't mean we get collect Ooh. a couple of them. <laughs> oh, that good. That Look is at a. That's a cool hermit crab. So we are on one of the driest parts of the island of Maui, Hawaii. There is not a freshwater source at all for miles. Not a single one except for rain. And it rains extremely rarely here. But ironically, it's actually sprinkling right now. So no, that's a funny like coincidence. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a couple different fishing setups, but first we're gonna try out, of course, Moana. So Agent Axe isn't having much luck with Moana. So I'm gonna give a new rig set up. Yamashita! Didn't catch anything? Mm -hmm. I got a new rig for you over here. But I keep getting so many bites. Oh really? Like I see them bite, biting the hook. Oh. I, wa I watch them. Here, take this. Is it a legal size? Yeah. All right, so we got a, a rig here with one, two, three, four hooks. Okay, Janax? Let's put a hermit crab on so, one. So Isaac, the guy who took us out deep sea fishing, taught us that it's best to feed the fish their normal diet here. So limpets and shrimp, that's what we're gonna use for bait. So these limpets look like they'll stick on really good. And then shrimp. So the legal size of these limpets evidently is a quarter. The only information I could find online is a half inch out of shell. And that's a half inch right there, so. So it's a fully stainless steel teapot from Walmart. Cost me like 15 bucks. So I'm gonna use distillation as a method of desalination. Distilling the water by boiling it into a vapor and the vapor will condense into fresh water, leaving the salt residue inside this pot. So I have a one inch compression fitting here. Coincidentally, it is exactly the size of this. I think, we will see. I'm gonna have to, ah, uh-oh. Oh no, it's a little big. That's not going anywhere. I hear a whistle. I think that means that Asian Axe just caught a fish. Yes, got it. Look at that. That is beautiful. I hooked it right, right through that. Oh, Isn't wow. That awesome. Oh my gosh. So this is a saddle, grass, or race? Yeah, it's rats. native to Hawaii. 
uh, native to the waters around the Hawaiian Islands and the Johnson Islands. So we're keeping it in this tide pool alive. You can eat it? While we figure out if we can eat them, and yes we can. Yeah. yeah. That, that might flop out. Look, oh, look at this. It's trying to swim out. So <laughs> we'll block rock. that with a big rock. Perfect. So I have to cut this off because it's damaged, it's flat, it won't work with that coupling. Alright folks, well, I think we're about ready here. I tell you what, that's a testament to how good a saw this is. It's a pretty good saw. This is some hard wood. There we go. Get it in there. All right, so the idea here is that this fire is gonna boil the water, the salt water that is inside this pot right here. The steam is gonna evaporate. It's gonna go through here and down through these coils. Now this salt water right here is going to cool the steam and condense it into its liquid state, which is water. And then the pressure is gonna force that water out and over here into a little glass jar that's hanging down at the end here. And at the end, we will have salt residue here. Now we're gonna keep a little bit of water. We're not gonna let it completely go because part of the reason why we'll leave some of that in there so we can get the salt residue out. Also, we wanna use it for something. And I'll show you here in a little bit when we get to finished product, what we're gonna use it for. So I'm concerned that the steam is gonna be leaking out of the top here. You don't want any kind of leaks. So I put this uh, plumber's tape here to help to seal it well. So salt water boils at a slightly higher temperature than regular water, but not really much. Uh-oh, we have sprung a leak here. All right, so we got a boil here, but we got a leak and that's not good because, oh, oh no, here it goes. Some water's coming out. Mm. Yeah, it's just hot salt water. I put too much water in it. That was the problem. I'm gonna put more tape on this. Put that on. Ugh. And I'm gonna try to hammer this on more. So now I need to empty the salt water out of this. All right. Okay, see the steam coming out of there? That's what we want. That, ow, whoo! So this steam right here, when it condenses, it will have no salt in it. I filled it too high and it was forcing bubbling salt water out of the top. So let's plug this in. And in a hurry. Ow! Good night! Whoo! That got hot quick! You! <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So all the steam is still escaping right here. So this isn't gonna work, agents. We need an airtight seal. So we're gonna have to rethink this and figure out how else we can do it. Alright, so I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna cook that fish up. Are you hungry? Can you try to catch another fish? You want to try to catch another fish? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to try to catch another fish and then cook that one up. Yeah, both of them. Both of them. <laughs> All the fish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did that hurt? Ouch! A little bit. So I want to try real quick to see if we got any water at all. Oh! <gasps> we did! There's a little bit of water in here. Oh, check it out. Look at that. Fresh water. 
Dude. How's it taste? That's the sweetest water I've ever had. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. It worked. It. Oh my goodness. So it wasn't a complete failure. Look at that. Dude, in a survival situation, that can mean the difference between life and death. For sure. Wait, if you've gone three it. days without water, that will carry you on for that much longer. And if you keep repeating that cycle, even with this setup, this could save our lives. Now we would spend probably half the day just doing this, getting water, but it could work and it would save our lives, literally. So I want to do this again and I want to do it right. Isn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, that is so good. Wow. Now this is completely distilled water. It has no minerals in it at all almost. That is actually not good for you. And you couldn't survive very long with this kind of water. But all we need to do to fix that is pour just a little bit, just a little bit of the salt water that we boiled back into here. Not much, just a little bit. And that will give us the minerals we need. Yeah, isn't that cool? Now, you taste half of that? Have you I poured too, way too much of there. <laughs> but if we had this jar full of water, we would put probably about uh, a tablespoon or two of this water back into there, and that would give us the minerals we need so to survive. So you don't want salt water on your adventure agent's knife for too long. It'll really hurt it some, rinsing it off of fresh water. having a hard time y'all <laughs> look at that yep this is definitely the best time yep. to catch fish right yeah, Eddie? i guess so. ow ow it bit you oh man stocky hawkfish otherwise known as rockfish yeah so this is a po'o pa'a po'o pa'a that's the hawaiian name got another one got another one these are Catch oh, it this time. Gosh, yeah. Oh, nice fish, Agent X. Great. Let's get it off. Uh. Nice little devil fish. <laughs> so, if you're cooking a fish on this Adventure Agent stove, you want to keep that heat real steady. Build a good bed of coals under there and don't let the flames get too high. Just put little sticks in every once in a while to keep the heat going, but it's really those good coals at the bottom that are gonna make that fish cook real good. So I say we should let these go. I'm gonna do this one. You, you, you're gonna eat that one? Yeah, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> these stocky hawkfish fans, po'opa'a, they are difficult to clean. They're so bony and they got these super duper spines. They get me every time. My little cute fish that finger. bit my daddy's finger off. <laughs> ah, what a lovely table. So, here's our fish, blackened to a crisp. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Pretty good, we need some salt though. Gum. Yeah, definitely need some salt. We could use that salt water. There we go. Yeah, this is the Mmm, mushiest fish I ever tasted. Really? Mm, yeah. Is it good? It's good, but it's just mushy. Mmm. The texture isn't my favorite. Mmm. Oh, the skin's pretty good though. Careful, there's little bones. We don't have time to do the stocky hawkfish, the po'o pa a. But Agent X is gonna take it home and he's gonna cook it with his friends. Alright, agents. Well, I would say that that was a massive success. We got a good little bit of fresh water. I know I can make this work now. I just need to have an airtight seal there so that the steam won't escape as it's being forced into the tube. We are miles from any freshwater source and I've heard that there used to be many hundreds of years ago a Hawaiian fishing village here and I've always been curious how did 
they get fresh water to live here. That's, that's so bizarre to me. So that's a mystery that we can solve maybe on another day. The closest person to us right now is actually Jeff Bezos. He's right over there. He just bought that house for like $80 million. And even Jeff Bezos has to run a pipe <laughs> for many, many miles to get water to his house over here. All right, agents, well, I thoroughly enjoyed this video and I wanna do a camping trip with Agent Axe out here but we need a fresh water source. We can't carry too much water with us. And so I think I found the solution where we can turn seawater into fresh drinking water and we can survive with it. I love it. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember agents, life is an adventure and love is the key. And love is a who and love loves you. Love made you, love's caused you to exist, and love continues to uphold Fish, tail, taste you, your existence. That's what I believe. Yep. Whoa. Love you, Agent X. I think you're awesome. I am so proud of you for catching that fish. That was great. You stayed at it and you caught it. So in a future episode, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna get another setup to have it to where it works perfectly. All right, Agent Tex out. Agent X out. Oh, Agent Burnt Fish Head out. Let's eat a hermit <laughs> crab. <laughs>